winner winner chicken dinner. Does anybody else do that? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and fun, happy makeup that I was playing with this week. I would say was overall kind of like mauve colors, pinky colors, like I love, love, love a certain palette and some single shadows. And you won't be surprised when you find out what it is. <laughs> but I was loving that. Um, just kind of did this ombre lip today and I like it, but I wore the two things separately and loved them individually. So yeah, just some fun, mauve pinky sort of favorites this week. So let's get to it. Okay, so first off, honorable mention to the BH Cosmetics Zodiac Libra palette. I didn't use this one quite as much as the other thing I'm about to mention to you, but I did really enjoy this. I think I wore this a couple days. This is such a beautiful highlight. So this is the main thing. I have this on my cheekbones today along with something else, but this highlight is beautiful. And then I have a little bit of these two on my lower lash line. And then I also wore this one this week. So really just kind of concentrated on the pinky colors. I don't think I wore, I think I might've worn this as a blending shade one day. It's a pretty blending shade, but let me show you the pinks because that was the main thing I was going for, especially that highlighter. It is beautiful. Hands are so dry. So don't mind that. These pinks are beautiful. They're like petal pink. I mean, look at that one. It's a beautiful kind of cool tone pink. This one is just very petal pink. I mean, it just has this gorgeous like pop of a color to it. A little bit corally, a little bit raspberry. It is just beautiful. So I have this kind of on the um, outer part of my lower lash line. Gorgeous, but look at that highlighter. It's a duochrome lavendery, light reflecting sort of a color. It's gorgeous. This one is not showing up in a swatch well at all, but it's very pretty. Um, I kind of like would go the opposite direction with my brush to kind of like get some of the color up. It's getting a little bit of hard pan, I think is what's happening. Um, but I mean, I have like, I don't ever, get my brush wet and then dip it into the shadow purposely. But what I'll do is I'll get it on, like get the product on the brush, then I'll spray the brush, but sometimes I go back in. So it's not like I directly spray it before I put it into the shadow, but I mean, I am spraying it and then putting back in there sometimes. So that's probably what happened with it. So yeah, just kind of getting some hard pan. Oh, there you can see it a little bit more. Really pretty kind of, um, this one is more golden coral. Yeah, it's a pink, but like a little bit of a golden coral. It's more on the coral side of pink, but it's still metallic -y and beautiful. But I would have to say that the main winner winner chicken dinner for the week is this palette right here. So good. This is the ColourPop Making Mauves palette. I'm sure it's no shocker to you that it's something ColourPop related that I was loving again this week. But wow, I mean, talking about ColourPop always just kind of surprising me and wowing me with their stuff. This one, I was kind of on the fence about getting it, but I am so impressed with it. I love this palette so much. So this is a beautiful, soft, lavendery, taupey, mauve sort of a color. Gorgeous, this is beautiful, but my favorite ones in the palette. This one and this one. Oh my goodness. This is this one right here especially is one that I'm like, oh, I don't even hardly want to swatch it because I don't want to waste it because it's so pretty. Um, and I'll swatch this one for you too. This one's very pretty as well. So it's a it's a cool toned, mauve, taupey, but definitely more on the mauve side, um, sort of a palette. But wow, I mean the the mattes blend so nicely. The metallic -y shades though are like, oh my goodness. They are just jump up and down, do a little jig. Beautiful. I mean, so impressive. This one has some shimmer in it. It's kind of a, like a mid-tone brown with some, I think kind of purpley blue sort of shimmers in there. I'll look at it in just a second once I show you these swatches, but look, beautiful mattes, 
Look at those. Look at those. I mean, they just catch the light so beautifully. That's dry. Using them with a setting spray will kick them up even more. So yeah, those shimmery little bits in this one looks like kind of like coppery and then I think kind of like silvery blue from what I can tell. But I mean, really, I've put them on my eyes and you really can't see it. I think I put a little bit on the outer corner of my eyes today. So I mainly have this one and this one and this one. And then I do have a little bit of this in my outer corner and just the tiniest little bit of that. And then that on my lid and then something else. Okay, so the something else on my lid is one of the little Super Shock Shadows from this little duo. I have like a Chester hair on me. Somebody gave me this tip to use like, if you've got like a hair somewhere on your face that you can't find, use the end of a spoolie and just kind of like drag it in the area and it will grab it. Such a good little tip. So just FYI on that. Okay, so the shadow that I have on my lid is one of the um, Super Shocks from this little duo, which is the Merci Beaucoup, maybe, or maybe it's just Bouquet. Merci, merci Bouquet, I don't know. Um, little duo super shock shadow duo. So, so I did wear both of these this week, but one of them is definitely my standout favorite. So this one is bloomer. That's adorable. So this one is the deeper shade of the two. And then this one is day trippin day trippin is the one that I enjoyed the most. That's what I have on the inner corners of my eyes. That's what I have on my lids. And I actually have a little bit of that as my highlighter too. So I put it on top of that BH Cosmetics one. Okay, so Bloomer, oh my gosh, so beautiful. These do feel a little bit loose in the pan, especially the other one, but I mean, I'm just careful when I open them. So here's this one. It's kind of a silvery shimmer in a petally mauvey pink kind of a color. Okay, then this one, which is, I think I said day trip and I don't want to flip it upside down to verify. This one is lighter and more of, oh, see a swatch is not going to do this justice because I love this on the eyes and I love it on the inner corners of the eyes. So just know swatch doesn't do it justice. It is stunning. It's kind of a duochrome -y pinky purpley blue. I mean, there's even like a tealy blue shift to it and lots of shimmer. They both have shimmer. They are just sparkly and light catching and happy. They are totally those shadows that when you put them on your eyes, you're like, what? Like talking to yourself. So excited. At least I am. Does anybody else do that? Just me? Okay. <laughs> They're beautiful. I love them. For blush this week, I was also enjoying the blush. One of the blushes, I just got this one. I think the other one might have been sold out. Um, the Press Powder Blush from the Mauves collection. I don't know what, I can't remember the name of the actual collection. Something Mauves. This is Catch My Vibe. Here's the outer box. Beautiful, gorgeous designs. They always just have beautiful designs. Like a lipstick on my face. That's okay. <laughs> So this is Catch My Vibe. So here is the actual box for the blush. Really nice packaging, really pretty design there. And this is what it looks like. This is a little bit deceiving because it looks like it's going to be a really bright pink, but it actually takes quite a bit of building to get it up to this point, which I don't mind. It is one of the, it kind of reminds me of um, the little blushes from Clinique that have the floral design in them where those really take some building, but you have a lot of play time with those. And I feel like they're great for people who are kind of just getting into makeup or a little bit nervous about a blush color, especially if it's a bright color. So this one looks like it's going to be crazy bright, but it really isn't. I mean, it, it takes some building to get it up to the brightness that I have on my cheeks. Otherwise it's a little bit more subtle kind of a silky sort of a texture to it. Overall a satin matte, but it doesn't look flat and dry. Really pretty, just kind of springy pop of pink on the cheeks. It is fun, it is happy. Yeah, just kind of, I don't know, makes you smile. Get it on your cheeks, it makes you smile. Um, I did also not wear bronzer again this week. Today I have it on, but I really liked that look. It just gives this fresh, um, fresh, <laughs> springy sort of a look. 
it's really pretty. A little bit just kind of lighter, you know what I mean? More effortless looking, but just more of that um, pop on the cheeks versus that more kind of like chiseled, contoured sort of a look. Pretty blush. Lip favorites this week. I have four favorites and I'm wearing three out of the four on my lips right now just to try to be able to show you all the things. Okay, so first combo, I wore these together. Very pretty. Laura Mercier Lip Pencil in Plumberry. Such a beautiful kind of neutral, um, I don't know, just like a pinky nude is how I would describe it. Kind of a little bit mauve -y. I'll show you in a second. Um, but it's not overly bright pink. It's more of a subtle, subdued, mauve -y sort of a pink. So love that. With Max Bosom Friend. Bosom Friend. This is such a pretty lipstick, but it is very light. So I definitely like this with a lip liner, but oh my goodness, it's beautiful. So I do have a little bit of this on kind of the inner part of my lips. I was kind of doing, doing like an ombre lip today. Look how gorgeous. I love the formula of MAC lipsticks. One of my favorite formulas of any lipstick just because it is hydrating, comfortable, low maintenance. They have tons of colors. They really do nude colors really well. This one is beautiful, but by itself, it's very light. At least on my lips, it's very light. So I like to wear it with a lip pencil. And I also really enjoyed this one from Pixie. Do I have the box? Oh yeah, here's the box. This is the Pixie by Petra Naturel Lip Moisturizing Lip Color, and this is in Peony. Peony. So here's the box. Here is the packaging. Their branding is so super cute. I love that it's like green and happy and kind of more like, I don't know, papery, whatever this is, cardboard sort of packaging. I just really like their branding. So here is what this looks like. So again, I do have this on my lips right now, but I have it kind of ombre with the bosom friend. So I wore this by itself. I like this lipstick better with a lip pencil. So I also wore it with Plumberry and I like it better with a lip pencil just because it is more of a moisturizing formula. So you can get a little bit more precision if you use a lip pencil. Not necessarily like, I mean, I just kind of, especially on the top of my lips, I prefer just putting a little bit of lip liner just because it kind of gives more shape to the lips. So I prefer it with a lip pencil. It's very hydrating. It almost has a MAC lipstick scent, but way more subdued. So you can kind of smell the vanilla, but it's very, very subtle. So it's there, but not like a MAC lipstick. And this color is just this really pretty peony sort of a color. So it's a warm pink, happy, fun, springy. It's beautiful. And I like it ombre with Bosom Friend. And I really like these lip oils from CoverGirl, the Clean Fresh Tinted Lip Oils. This one is in Quench. Quench. So you can wear this by itself, but again, I prefer it with just a little bit of lip liner just to give a little bit of shape because this is obviously a lip oil. I've got like, hang on, let me swatch over here. I've got like, I don't know, dry spots in my hand. So let's go over here. This is a very pretty, this is more sheer because it's a lip oil, a sheer glossy pink, but oh my goodness. Look how that catches the light. So pretty, really hydrating, very comfortable on the lips, but it does feel like a lip oil. So just FYI, it's not um, sticky at all. It has more of that oil sort of a, a feeling on the lips, but it's beautiful how it catches the light. But I just prefer it with a little bit of lip liner just for a little bit of shape to the lips, but just the tiniest little bit because I want it to be more of that easy sort of a look but just with a little bit of shape. It's beautiful, has a sweet sort of a scent to it. Yeah, it's yummy. Okay guys, so those are all my favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please do a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you've been loving this week or maybe not so much loving. Let me know what you've been up to recently. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.